Uh, I gotta take an intermission. Just for a minute. Because, um, it's something I must say. You can't get into sovereignty movement and these things that I talk about. From my perspective, if you're coming from some form of a, like, background of identification is what I call it. The ID. See, everybody wants to do this stuff, but then you all got IDs. Driver's license, cars, you got money all on you. That's an ID. You're like, well, I don't have a car, but you got money on you. And that's the ID. Um, some people are law enforcement and stuff like that, talking about they want to do this. You're a corporation. You're up under a corporation. You know what I'm saying? And there are certain rituals that you would have to do that would go against your job. And you're not going to do that. So, therefore, you wouldn't qualify to do some of this stuff that I'm talking about. And I'm not trying to sound exclusive. That's not what I'm doing. It's not even about that. It's about respecting the work because it was a lot of work and ritual work that was put into this by our ancestors, even before me and other people started even talking about any of this. There was a lot of ritual work put in to securing your estate, your name and your commodities. And a lot of it's a lot of people out here, you know, they're like into the streets and stuff like that. And you have yeah, yeah, you might have commodities and you want to use um, I don't even want to call them drugs, but you want to use herbs that may be banned and call it your commodity. And you like, well, I'm a sovereign and they can't touch me, so I can just take this and this is my commodity. But you don't realize there's a black ops movement and people out there that will still get at you for using commodities that you don't even own because you haven't done certain rituals. But yet you want to use these commodities and tax other people and claim these as your commodities and claim these as your money, but it's not. And people do this, on, and they use this on the stock market and all of that. And they try to use commodities like marijuana, yeah, um, commodities like cocaine and stuff like that, and heroin, and claim it as theirs, but you haven't done any ritual work. You don't even have a stake in the land that a lot of this stuff comes from, yet you're talking about taxing people for it and stuff like that. And that's, not only is that illegit, but you could be taxed yourself for that pretty bad, even to the point of execution, believe it or not. For stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Because you haven't your hands haven't put in the work. So I'm just saying, like, before you get into this, it's just like on the street. A person comes from the street and they talking about I mean a person comes from outside of the streets and they come on the streets talking about they want to get initiated into some gang, but it's like, are you some form of an undercover or something like that? Are you somebody that's just an agent that just wants to bring this down? And it's like there are certain initiations and rituals that we could put you through to prove whether or not what you are even before you become it. Are you going to be one in the future? It's not just in the past. Are you going to be one in the future? Are you just here to cause chaos and dissension? So you don't control any, like a lot of people, there's people they want to use, you know, they want to control. They're like, okay, well, I'm going to use my body and sex. And they call it, you know, prostitution or whatever. And they want to use this as a commodity to claim that they're sovereign. However, again... Do you know how to do this up under, not up under your straw man, but up under a sovereign pretext? Because when somebody gives you currency in exchange, they're IDing you. And that's the point I want to really point out here. We don't use IDs in this. We have notes, bonds, things like that, but we don't use IDs. And currency up under a certain pretext, you can't even accept currency unless it's accepted as an ID. If you are any form of a corporation or under a corporation. So I just want to point that out, you know, and make that clear. There's a lot of people that know this already. And I want to send a shout out to a group of people that are actually demonstrating this. And they, you know, they they gave me a little bit of money. Some of the money I showed you on the last episode back, a couple episodes back. They gave me a little bit of money and they're doing their own thing. It's actually a private group of women that are living sovereign doing it the right way paying into an estate and then drawing credit off of that estate that's acceptable but it's like a lot of people they don't have no proof you don't have no proof you you you're using your id really in reality and you're putting liens on other people's on sovereign estates 
and that's an act of warfare so don't be surprised if you know that sovereign was to come back you know and to strike back at you for putting a lien on his or her estate claiming that claiming it as credit but you haven't went through certain rituals and done certain work to claim that so i just want to point that out nah it's ain't i mean when you're hearing this information it's serious i take this very serious there's certain rituals that you're going to have to go through this is not for the cute the sexy and the, you know and all of that man to be honest with you so this is for a person or a group of people that are serious about taking back what's theirs and um i don't want to call it expatting but restructuring this matrix so that it like so that it will operate the way it once did as an empire versus some form of a monopoly game 